Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the channel. To the channel. Please subscribe with notifications on. Good morning, everyone. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out this morning. For each and every one, um, showing all this pleasure at what is happening here in Barbados. This isn't about us. This is about Barbadians. This is about our future. This is about our children, our grandchildren. This is about every single Barbadian, okay? Uh, when this government first came in, they spoke about transparency. We are not seeing that transparency. We are not seeing it. As a matter of fact, we are blinded. They are doing things sneakily, hiding and passing bills, hiding and sending legislation, and then coming to us and telling us about it. This is not the way a government is supposed to be run. We are supposed to participate in any governance that is here in Barbados. As a matter of fact, it is our fundamental right. It is a constitutional right that each citizen in Barbados participates in any legislation that is passed. We are not seeing that. I want to look at the inequality of what is being done. I want to look at the fact that, as my brother said, the politicians are receiving their pensions at 50 years old. And they keep saying we in this thing together, where well, we should be getting pension at 52. Either that or they too will be receiving their pension at the same age as us. The inequality of this, where we have to pay no 750 contributions in order to receive a pension. I saw yesterday and a post the amount of money that the government MPs are receiving. As we in this together, I believe some politicians can take a pay cut because there are a lot of homeless people. We are seeing the plenty of the homeless. We are seeing the cost of the daily tax that was supposed to be removed every cent. And they can get a little longer than some of me. It's going to be still there when some of us are gone. The sewage tax, that none of us don't have a hotel. None of me don't got regal restaurants. And we pay taxes for these people. These are our fears and it's wrong. It's our, it is wrong. It is wrong. If a minister can receive patient at 50, we want patient at 52. We want it at 52. People, we want each and every one of you to pay attention to what is being said. We are trying our best to educate everyone as to what is being done. We are coming out so that people can hear what is being done. And we have to thank people like Lynette Eastman, Caswell Franklin, Lamamba, Bunga Lights, all the people here for assisting us, for educating people as to what is happening behind the scenes. You know that the NIS no longer belongs to the people. Are you aware that the NIS, your national insurance scheme, no longer belongs to you? It belongs to the state now. The legislation has been passed. So it means that the Prime Minister can do as she likes with your money. Somebody called Barbados, Borrow Barbados. Borrow Barbados. Because we keep digging ourselves in a hole deeper and deeper. I'm not political, but I'm dealing with facts. I'm dealing with the facts that we are being treated unfairly here in Barbados. Laws are being passed without us being told. Laws are being legislated. Okay, and then we hear about it after. There's no consultation. There's no transparency. People of Barbados, please, each and every one of you, have a say in your governance. It is our right. The Inter-American Commission says that one of the rights that is contravened if you do not have a chance to participate in governance it is a human right that's being taken away from you it is a right and that's each and every one of us right now <coughs> was to write to the inter-american commission on human rights and say that we are not having a chance to participate in our governance sanctions can be held against barbados for it 
A lot of people do not realize that. We can write to them. And we believe that domestic remedies will be to no avail. We can bypass direct domestic remedies. This Article 32. And we can bypass and seek redress there. We are a signatory of the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights. We are, we are supposed to participate in our governance. Not they do things and then tell us about it. We are supposed to have a say. We are supposed to have an opinion. No politician is supposed to be receiving a quarter million dollars and people are here sleeping on the streets. I've seen, you see articles in the newspaper where people are sleeping on the streets with young children. And then when it's brought, when it's brought to the public's attention, the children are being taken away. Who the dog like you in? One body can get a house, another body can't get one. These are the unfair practices that are going on here in Barbados. All kinds of things are being done sneakily here in Barbados. We need to make you aware and we need to make others aware. Come on everybody, let us repeal that bill. Repeal that bill. Repeal that pension bill. And we will march until it is repealed.